guys welcome back to the channel a pleasant good morning and it's your local internet auntie and today i'm gonna be making egg bak curry and over here i have the fallopian tube and over here little dung so you could see put it little down yes mm -hmm. over here you have the eggs of the unborn chicken I mean, I know a lot of you don't know about it. We Guyanese don't put anything at waste. So what you're going to do is going to take the scissors, slide it through here nicely. This is the, this is the strategy you use to clean it. Get in there nicely. So guys, I finished cutting through the tubes. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add in some lime juice and vinegar and wash it thoroughly. So guys, after cleaning all the tubes and wash it with lime and vinegar, I put uh, like four pints of water for a medium heat and I'm gonna simply place in this inside the water. boil about five to ten minutes so all the excess fat or the unwanted stuff can get out I also go ahead and add in one tablespoon of salt this is optional you don't have to but I choose to help to get more of the fat and the rank out although you st you wash it so let's wait five to ten minutes and we're gonna take the next step so guys it being exactly 10 minutes this is what you want it to look like before you take it out all the excess fat and unwanted stuff what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain this out and wash it out and cut it up in pieces so guys I finished washing it nicely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into pieces the way how you want it for your liking so I basically finished cutting up the tubes developing tubes and I have the eggs here and I have the water go in. I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to add in the eggs for a nice medium boil for around four to five minutes because this you don't want to overcook the egg. So after getting everything ready, what you would want to do is make your curry into a paste like you would cook any curry like your chicken curry, your fish curry, you add all your ingredients just like you need thin curry and now I'm adding in the two. I add all my ingredients in here already. As I said, like you're cooking any curry. And now I'm going to give it a nice stir. Guys, don't mind me. I have to hold my phone by myself today. I didn't have no helper. And I can't find my phone stand. I'm going to let this marinate properly for a couple of minutes. And now I'm going in with my eggs. I'm 
I'm also going to go ahead and add in some hot water to put it to a boil because remember I, I already boiled the the soup for 10 minutes and the eggs for 5 minutes so it depends on your liking how many gravy you want in the curry but I'm not going to go with a lot of gravy you could either serve this with dal, rice, roti or you could serve it with rice by itself, roti by itself or dal depends on your liking I'm going to go ahead and add in some hot water and let it sit down for a few minutes and I'm going to show you guys the finished product so guys, here you have it, my beautiful, delicious egg bar curry. I hope you enjoyed this recipe.